Hello, I am Scott of uh, Scott's Computer Repair. I'm here to show you how to uh, factory store on an E-Machine ET1331G-03W, the ET series basically. Um, <clears throat> this has got Windows 7 on it. I'm going to do a factory restore on it. Uh, the OS is corrupted on it, so I'm going to try to attempt to a factory restore. Um, basically, make sure the machine is completely powered off. Um, I recommend you back up all files or anything important if you can. Um, if you possibly can do it, put on a flash drive or whatever. Because then this method will wipe all information on your computer, which I've done already. I backed up all information on it. And when you're ready to go, basically after you power the computer on, you got to hold the Alt key down and tap F10 until the logo screen uh, disappears and, and stop, and it should uh, and it should start loading. The factory restore. And here we go. Go ahead and power it on. The Alt key pressed and start tapping F10 by holding the Alt key down. After that, just stop. There you go. That's how you start, start that. Mind you, this will wipe all, my method here is going to wipe all information, like pictures, documents, music, whatever you have. You got to make sure you, if you can access those files before you can do this, please back them up. This is a desktop computer, not a laptop. Okay, I want to basically, this first option, to complete restore the system to factor default. It states it will, uh, restore will Restore your PC to all factory default status. All data on the C drive will be deleted. That means everything you have, pictures, music, whatever you have on it. That's set. Back it up. Go ahead and select with your keyboard. Go ahead and select it. Hit enter. And um, it'll just tell you what will happen. Erase all data. Of course, it will tell you before you proceed. I'm going to go ahead and go next. And just telling what drive it's going to do it on. Go ahead and next. And just make sure again, and want to make sure you don't want to do this. And go ahead and hit OK. And the process is started. And gotta check and see if the USB legacy is on. And the BIOS. Because my mouse ain't working.
Okay. After that's done, and click hit, and hit OK. Restart. Okay, type in your uh, username, whatever you want to choose. I'm going to call this one for owners, this is for a customer. And I'm still not loaded for this yet. Oh, there it goes. Next, you can skip the password. I'm going to skip the password. Don't need it necessarily have it. Okay, accept the agreements. Hit next. Use recommended sendings. Select your time zone before you go ahead and hit next. Or you'll be stuck on Pacific time. Well, we can change later, but of course. Hit next. And the network, go ahead and have it go to home networking. You don't need if you got a world home group password, if you know what it is, go ahead and enter it. Or uh, if you don't, just go ahead and skip. Okay, restoration information. I'm just going to skip it because it's not my computer. Alright. I'm going to remove Norton Security off here anyways. I'm going to put essentials or or, or requirement or requested data of ours they want in it. I'm going to go ahead and activate later. That's up to you if you want to use the 60 day trial or not. Or put your own van of ours in. Okay, that's how you do a factory restore on a e-machine ET series, the 1331G-03W. Uh, Appreciate your time watching my video. Please subscribe and have a nice day or evening, whatever to you when you're watching this video. 
Thank you. All right.